Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to tie a 2 pass type 2 pineapple knot. This knot is tied differently than the type 1 pineapple knot, and learning and seeing how it is tied can help you understand types of pineapple knots more easily. We're going to tie this pineapple knot onto a 5 part 4 byte Turk's head, and I'm going to leave a link in the description you can use to tie the base knot. Once you have your 5 part 4 byte Turk's head ready, you can begin your interweave. If we take a look at how a type 2 pineapple knot is constructed, we can see that the primary knot has its left bytes on byte boundary 1, while the right hand bytes are on byte boundary 2. The second knot, the interweave, has its left bytes on byte boundary 2, and the right hand bytes on byte boundary 1. This basically means that the bytes of our primary knot are nested on the right hand side. Now with all of this said, let's tie ourselves a type 2 pineapple knot. So I have prepared my 5 part 4 byte Turk's head and I have placed my second cord on the left side of the standing end. We're going to start with an under 2 then go over, under and over. We're now going to follow the right hand byte of our primary knot. So follow it like this. And since we went over when we exited, we're also going to go over when we enter. So go over under. Then over 2 to split a pair. And under 1. And we're going to continue, since we finished with an under one, we're also going to enter with an under one, then go over, under, and over two. And again, we're going to follow the top byte, and re-enter with an over one. Since we exited with an over, we're going to re-enter with an over. So over, under 2. Then over 2. And under 1. Again, we're going to start with an under, since we finished with an under as well. So under, over, then under 2, over 2. Then we're going to follow the top and re-enter with an over 2, under 2. Then go over 2 and under 1. Again, we're going to start our sequence with an under 1. Then go over 2, under 2, and over 2. And finally, 
we're going to follow our top byte of the primary note and enter with an under one. And then we're going to go over to, under to, over to, and under one. And by going under one, we have reached the standing end of our second chord and we can now place our working end on top of our standing end, going under two. And this will complete our type two pineapple knot. And here you can see how it looks like. And it is a lot different than the type one pineapple knot. So guys, thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I hope it wasn't terribly hard. The main thing is that you tie this knot a few times to get the hang of it. After that it will become natural. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.